so when he was hung, hung out I, I really I apologize for the center camera lakini itabidi aisikie when he was hung up there mm-hmm. you one of those guys akaona akasema nyie you son of god kwa sababu aliona nini identifier what is the id card for born again that mean for you that's the conversation bas that's how they were able to see that guy was embarrassed in all manner of forms all 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 imagine kwa ni kwa ndidi live na madhako yako hapa nakuona So you are akobizia kiambia John this is your mother take care of your mother <laughs> while he's hanging he's still hanging <laughs>
kiocean kuna maninis na chati mzee huko ndani yeye kwetango barabara kuna hiyo kuna nyingine bado kuna nyingine bado eh ni msawi inaitwaje kaje tena hiyo barabara ni sasa kwa sababu ni place bora ina khatu ya sasa this borabora i'd like to see the pyramids too obviously yeah, egypt yeah. yeah israel the my number one though is israel kuna pyramids israel no 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 tour oh sorry my bad <laughs> pyramids are only in egypt and i think sudan sudan, sudan have pyramids. yes yes they have so kuna low budget nini pyramids in sudan eh, budget. or maybe they don't know how to hype themselves they are so busy fighting man everything is about marketability yeah. when you go to hollywood my buddy rk my producer told me when he went to hollywood it's still nice mm-hmm. but no it's not as wow as, as i described. described so how you market a place matters like dubai is marketed so much the market so by the time you go you feel oh, i've achieved where i wanted to come dubai but not necessarily but sometimes oh, have you seen safari com advert ya kitambo kidogo and they were showing a desert you're like where come ni chalbi na ni hapa furahia hiyo exactly you see sceneries and you're like is it kenya you see kenya actually i won't lie that's the first time i learned that you have a desert in even me chalbi i i didn't know i didn't know so it's how you push mm-hmm. something yeah It draws the attention and then they lead on top of mount kenya mm. do you know any couple to is and i remember kisoma like in school <laughs> like is jiko hapo honestly if you are from nyika plateau i would like to know you go ni miss days we were talking about in school and that was that <laughs> hey nyika plateau yata plateau yata plateau what is a plateau a plateau is a flat high level land imagine your definition akumbuka Sikramology tunasoma ya siku zetu usika hii ya Gen Z tuna kram There's a teacher who used to come and tell us about utility in biology in uh, not biology in business when you're oh, studying yes, business yeah. there's one question you couldn't miss the definition for utility Nakumba eh nakuja nakwambia utility is a better of a commodity to satisfy I have never forgotten there is one utility is a better of a commodity to satisfy a need period Kisha wenza ayo za yo gabata yo terete kisha terete is a berete of a commodity to satisfy a need ya da una sao kwenu hawezi so hizo mashaba zingine inasaidia unakuta katika kitu inasaidia we had a teacher in history so alikuwa na shida ya matamchi so the sh watch wakati amefunza history unajua history it was dictation notes the portuguese came with 19 chips When I say chips I mean chips and not chips. <laughs> Bro. Mazuri na shanga kwani wacha ni soli kuona njaa. Kuna team. Kwa vid packets. Kwa vid. Ah. Then kwa time pia alikuwa anafunza history. So the other time he said she said eh, Jesus washed the disciples feet. Mazuri na shanga mbona Yesu anaangalia. Unaangalia kwa nini mko? Yaani hapo ana movie mpaka unaanza kuona miguu. Ama ni karaka sana angalia za kutembea. Ina ina kuit baadaye ile time kule. Wash. Bro. Manze is a bottom. Ndio kwa sana side yao unakumbuka kwa. Cuz you make fun of it. You make fun of it. By the time exam comes unazi utaikumbuka. Manze. Ndereta is a ability of community to satisfy anybody. Sikufanya business. Mm. Ene me business studies nilipata D+ kutoka form 1 mpaka ni drop. Nisome, nisisome. D+. Mm-hmm. And it's funny that nowadays I'm in business like in anyway. It's funny. <laughs> yeah, you're the street smart. He now work. Twende e elephant <laughs> in the room. Na zikwani elephant big elephant in the room. Now. You have been in the music industry for 24 years. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about evolution. Mm. Cuz in those 24 years it's different generations. Yeah. Different generation different uh, ways of disseminating the music to the people yes this different tastes and different different yes. styles styles everything yeah. so how have you managed to evolve with time what have you done different from other artists what they have done you know the artists who were there for that generation they didn't cross over to the next generation mm-hmm. they didn't let's say they didn't evolve mm-hmm. how have you managed over the years because mm. nowadays even artists artists who are hit were big time in 2020 are no longer big time yani kitu vitu zinachinja raka yani and it's just difference of what 3 years 3 years yeah 
But it's, 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 you see, music is like information mm-hmm. age. Mm-hmm. Every two years, half of what you know is obsolete. Gone. So you must keep researching on what's happening, what's new, what's trendy, mm-hmm. without changing the message. The message is yeah. key. The keep message the message. Key, yeah. mm. So when you listen to a song I've done, which is in, probably in the sound of today, I'm a piano. Yeah. Or you listen to a song I did, probably Kitambo, which is in Kwaito. Mm-hmm. You'll find, yes, stylistically I've changed. But the yes. content I'm singing is the same. So you must keep it the same. Mm-hmm. When you listen to Mafiki Zolo, Mm-hmm. In and uh, but guys don't know it's the same guys. That's the one. It's the same guys. Yes. It's now when you listen to their music, <clears throat> okay, Kona was a commercial. There are songs you do for the radio friendliness and stuff. Mm-hmm. When you listen to the other songs of theirs of now, this is a kitambo. The only difference is a bit. The style they sing is the same. same. You can't change who you are, but you can adapt different stylistical effects to reach the people you want. Like, to um, so it is all before they broke up and all mm-hmm. that, mm-hmm. or they took a break. That is, if you notice, they are one of the groups that has survived the longest yes. in the music. Yes, yes, yes. And also, their music style that hasn't changed so much. Mm. But mm. they have managed to cut across to weave through, to weave through all these yeah. generations, and they are so sly. You know, have you seen what Saudi Soul have done before they broke up? Wali, wali, kazana hizo mani niza ati ati nikupele kijava tunywe kahawa tuki zuba. Sindio. Mm-hmm. Then they realize, wait, okay, so now we want to go mainstream. What do we do? So they come and see RK. What do we do? Piga kapenga kadogo. Sindio. Nihari nilie kwenye ranji yowa. And stuff like kina gentleman. I'm, I'm a gentleman wa kutana na kina piyunit wa kakombai yes. nao. Then now to go further, they realized rumba doesn't die. Yes. So it's a lot always, of their songs are so rumba influenced. Oh, damn. There's a song Mm-hmm. I, I wish I could remember what's called. Just go like this. Mm. <clears throat> but my key is not that. Yes. It's a. <laughs> now, could you so we have a song. You just borrow that song. Yes, you just borrow a little, switch it a little bit. There's a chick I know. She's a gospel artist. These are the ones who can never listen to even half of a secular song. So one day, to go for in the studio, could record. Nikaskia wana imba wimbo. I know this melody. Nani asa uti so? Ile imbo alimba wate ineitwaje? Ka wate wali kutana wate wakaimba. Gene? Kuna imbo yakina sauti soul. Actually ni ya soul soul nation. Soul generation. Ai rumba ina bamba. Sasa. Mina skia. Extravaganza. Mina skia these girls who don't listen to even a tinge of the music. Wana imba hiyo melody. I was like, oh, my skill is. Can you remember me? I don't know those guys and their song. I need a joy. Come back to the solo. I borrow that melody. Ah. Okay, back to the girls. Damn. When I come back, I'm telling you, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Pick something. Pick something. Good. I'm telling you, come back. Kitu atasi ya sauti solo. I'm not quite excited, Sasa. Yeah. Tunde. Nimbia yumba ya dad ya Rafton. Iya. Inetuaje. Mungu baba tuwaomba. Mungu baba tuwaomba. Tutaanza na we, haya. Ready, set, God. Lord, I give you my heart. I give you my soul. Ah! Ha! 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 So it won't quite sound like this. And you'll feel this melody is so familiar. Man. Yeah, unacheki? Aya. Jose Camillo, nakamua, nimepotea sana. I need to come back. 
Rena varu varu baby. Hey, hey, hey. Naomba mina wetu. Na kuna raga song moja hata Gen Z na Joe Miss Kate so famous. No one I don't even know who the. Tendi nani nani nani. Tendi nani nani nani. I remember that song. There you go. I can't recall the name. Bana yani. So 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 Boro switch don't kill you know, yourself but now now to 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 get musical kitogo mm. is what they call sampling eh hey, hey, hey. it's allowed it's allowed kitogo too funny thing i came to realize uh you know you know uh banana boy is a song he, mm. he has been to last last mm. last last or something mm, i've heard of it yeah yonka last last funny thing i was reading somewhere and not sure it's true or the right fact eh? But Tony Braxton owns 60% of it. I, I, I read that. I read that. Just and he because pays. And he, pays. he sampled mm. Tony Braxton's song called He Wasn't a Man Enough. Mm. Oh, he wasn't yeah. man enough for me. Yes. So that I yes. ting, 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 and, eh, eh, eh. and I was like, whoa. Yes. Same thing I was reading today. Was it whose? There's a, one of the writers that was called Baz Kitambo. And to John John Mushiri. John Mushiri. Yeah. So good by the time he had done a, done a post on that. Because uh, there are people uh, who their music, there are people who have sampled music over time. Mm. Now when you bring that out, that's you know, unless you know old school songs, mm. you don't know. Mm. You won't know. Mm. How you? And there are many. There are many. Many. Like, many. Like, uh, many. like um actually I don't think there's any artist who has made it. Who has never sampled a song? Guys, sample. Maybe twist a note. Yeah. There's a there's a lady called Rebecca Malope. Yeah. Yeah. And I know the song. Yeah. 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 So these guys went to. They were fans of Rebecca and they wanted to sing it exactly like that. So they went to RK. RK told them, don't sing exactly like that. So instead of so you switch a canoe. So you haven't stolen. You basically you've been inspired. Yeah. There are those who there are those who do that. Blatantly, you know, yeah. Blatantly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. But there are those now when you, you sample because uh, the others now you pick like a chorus of a song, mm. an old school song, you twist it, kidogo, still mm. remains the same, mm. and then you add your verses and yes. all that. Yes. So unapata. People are so people are too mm. busy mm-hmm. to start listening to a song from from scratch. From you scratch. just want what you can bop to and you yes. continue. And the more familiar the melody is, the better. Mm. So the only way to evolve through music and to stay relevant is to not evolve with the times. Yeah, evolve with the times. Maintain maintain the your message, song, who you are. Maintain who, who you are. are. Originality. Originality is key. But then now use the sound of today to grab other people. Mm. Yeah, like that. So, so. so now, as we leave E. To E. To E. Told you. Is it one of those as Jeff Expectations. Now, mm. how do you balance the expectations of the audience with the artistic vision? Uh, that's a very good question. What I do to make life easy, Kitambo, it was hard. I make it easy. Mm-hmm. My producer will give me years of production. Mm-hmm. My DJ will give me years of the crowd. Mm-hmm. And then I have my artisticness. And maybe I'll also talk to my contemporaries and see what you like the music. Mm-hmm. DJs have a have an ear of what is on the ground. That's one on a mad tracks could make hit after hit. Because yes. he has this, he knows what people want to hear. Mm-hmm. You get? So, uh, like now, there's a song I've just done a collab with somebody. I won't mention now. I'll mention mm-hmm. Kikuja. Big time. It's a big song. Mm-hmm. Now that one I'll particularly carry my DJ, mm-hmm. another producer, mm-hmm. you to, to work on it now. Plus mm-hmm. now my musical expertise, yes. now we are to expertise here. Yeah. To combine these results to make sure this song goes to as many people as we can. Okay. So that's how I do that. Because I have ears of the people. My DJ will give me ears of the people mm-hmm. while I maintain my originality, originality still. And then my producer will bring in now his expertise. So you manage everyone's expectations. Yes. You meet mm. almost everyone's expectations. Yes, yes. Wow. Yeah. Good, good name. Ah, don't call it F. Now, let's talk about fears. Hmm? What do you fear? I'm fierce, like a lion. I'm a very fierce man. So don't fear anything. Eh? Don't I fear, fear God. <laughs> <laughs> there are many fears you'll have. 
and that's that's probably why the reason why God God tells you fear not for I'm with you because he knows you'll fear. He knows, you'll he knows you'll fear. You're human. You're human. But in your weakness, in those fears, his strength is made manifest. So that 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 I fear failure. Everyone fears failure. Fear disappointing people, disappointments, you know. Mm-hmm. You fear living a life that is legacy less. Mm-hmm. There's a difference between being a legend and having and a legacy. legacy. Yeah. If you aim for legacy, the better. If you aim for being a legend, you'll be a legend today, gone tomorrow, there are new legends for the people. But if your legacy lives on, if you leave something for people to stand on top of, then mm-hmm. they become giants, but, even better. But I always say, you can't be a legend without a legacy. You can be famous. Yes. You, 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 you can, you can rub off your legendariness. <laughs> mm-hmm. The bigger you become, the more of a legend you become, the more responsible. With however higher you go, the more responsible you are. So mm-hmm. you have to carry your life because now you've gone to another level whereby people are looking up to you. Mm-hmm. And how you run your life will affect how people perceive you. And it, you mm-hmm. can mess, you can build something for years mm-hmm. and mess mm-hmm. it in a day. Up, yeah. So you, you, you must be careful. That's so that you can your legend your can legend, leave a legacy. Your legend with a legacy, but yeah. then you can mess that legacy. Legacy. Mm-hmm. Then now even now, now now instead of you being known as a prolific musician, people can you can ask scandal. Yeah. Ah, true. Right. For example, let me use an example that I'm, this is these are alleged things. Mm-hmm. But if I use the name, if I speak about a name like T B Joshua. Yeah. Right now? Legend, but right now? No. And we don't know how that whole story will go. Mm. So I'm not saying he's guilty or no, I'm just saying I'm just saying like, as an example of yes, a story. Sure. Wow. You right. get are you able to cross beyond? We're talking about Rose Bohando mm-hmm. and the way she had lifted the gospel mm-hmm. Jew. Then a few things happened, happened but somehow God has restored her. Now she's back and flying high. <laughs> so at, at all points, you want to know what have you left? Mm-hmm. Who have you impacted? Oh. We are all humans and we all have weaknesses. Yeah, all but have make weaknesses. sure the pluses are so much more. Mm-hmm. That people will say, you may have been human. Mm-hmm. In fact, the fact that you're human, they are mm-hmm. amazed by how much you are able to achieve. Wow. Now, I've talked about the fears and all. Eh? So, how does faith help you navigate and overcome the fears that you have? Faith, Uzuri, um, faith, faith. The definition of faith is being sure what you of what you hope for, mm-hmm. and being certain of things you can't see. Mm-hmm. And the key thing is when it's based on God, you know His promises are yea and amen. So, you must. Faith casts away doubt. Faith casts away fear. Yeah. So every day you must wake up and say, no, God is going to be with me. Mm-hmm. You must have a rotor of the things that God took you through. That's why when you wake up, count your blessing them by one, by one. Then see the steps God has taken you through. Then you see your fears. You always have fears daily, yeah. but they start getting minimal mm-hmm. and minimal. Because the biggest weapon the enemy uses against you is fear. I can't make it. I can't do this. Can't do who, who am I thinking of to become, to, to be something great like this? You get. I'll give you an interesting story. When, when, when Manchester United, I hope you like soccer to some extent. Just a shout. When Manchester United lost Beckham, Beckham. I'm a Chelsea fan. You are a fan of soccer nonetheless. So. <laughs> You know, you know, but you're playing. You're doing well. Now, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> when, Beckham, when Beckham, Beckham was such a pivotal player yeah, for Manu. So when we lost him, as Manu, I'm a fan of Manu, mm-hmm. we went to Real. We wanted to buy Ronaldinho. Yes. You know what Ronaldinho was. Then, yeah. we lost the Ronaldinho. Yeah. Barcelona. Barcelona. Yeah. Thank you. So, to catch up. So, to kind of just a friendly boy, Portugal. To kind of cut away, cut dog. Can it Ronaldo? Ronaldo. Ronaldo could have freaked out and said, "I can't feel those shoes," mm-hmm. but he didn't freak out. He said, "I'll challenge it." Mm-hmm. Now, our water, water, kuna kwa nzema mbele ya Ronaldo. Mm-hmm. So, has become the great. Yes, yes. So you can ri- rise up. What I do, I drop it. There, there's something called dianoia. What? <laughs> dianoia and dialogismo. And diarrhea. <laughs> no, 
dari oh. <laughs> maybe dari <laughs> sasa <laughs> dialysis <laughs> so dialysis dialysis mo dialysis mo is probably what you study structures and everything plans and everything oh. dialysis is a picture you have of where you want to go so you must every day as you live you need to keep brushing up on that painting of what you want to become okay. then you drive away fear because every day people are throwing darts that show you you can't do it you're just average you unaona wewe ni nani unanielewa every day that is being thrown to you yeah. by life and by obstacles but every day if you rise up and talk to god and then keep drawing that picture mm-hmm. that is giving you the bible says perfect love because you know the person who's giving you that picture loves you mm-hmm. perfect drive love drives away fear So it's like love the opposite of love is not necessarily hate yeah. it's fear. fear wow so i need i stick close to god and the people who love you and believe in you True. at times the people who love you and believe you can be can be used in their goodness mm-hmm. to limit you yeah because they can tell you some truths based on what benefits them they not necessarily that or based on how they perceive you or how they see you, you get how they think. if i say right now in the next three years uh-huh. i'll be the biggest artist in africa Mm-hmm. <laughs> guys, let me keep going. My guys will be like Come on, meacha calligraph wapi? Come on. Me. So somebody will come yes. and in the goodness of their heart and attack on you, don't overblow yourself. They mean well, but they are basing what they are saying on what they have seen me between zero and now. They can't see the dream I have. Anything you see about me is history. The reason you've called me to interview me here is based on what what you know me about and what I've achieved already. You don't know the visions that I have. In my heart and what God wants to do in my life. And that is a theory between God and myself because we are still drawing it. You get? So I must keep looking to that picture and, and focus on that one. Not to the left, not to the right, but on the focus person who gives that. me that picture and I keep drawing it. Yeah. Dianoia, not diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> I know by now you have learned a new word. That word is dianoia. I hope you have understood the meaning of dianoia. <laughs> the word of the day is dianoia. It's close to diarrhea but it's not diarrhea, it's dianoia. Dianoia. Keep painting. Keep painting that. Keep picture. painting that picture. And at times when it looks like it is slow, mm-hmm. it's because we are dra- you're drawing the finer parts. The finer parts take time. Take time. No rush. No rush. No rush. Yes. Namba ya mpesa kutuma sadaka. Inapita tu hapa. Now before we leave F. Yes. A fun one. Yo ni F pia. Ni anasema eh. First girlfriend. Any first girlfriend of a, of a boy is their mom. It always is. Yeah. It always is. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, moving on simply to G now. G G G. F N G. Yeah. Oh. Must be F G M. F G. G G. G wagon. Ah, G wagon. Now, going moving on to G. You've been you've been in the music industry for a while, you've been in the game for a while. Now, what guided you or inspired you to to sing one and what has guided you all along the journey that you have stayed true to the gospel great that's a good question tunarudi tu hapo kwa f first girlfriend mom mm-hmm. mom always thought i could sing <laughs> yes and i tried in school and people just laughed mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so so when I, now but now when she passed on it's a point when she passed on a year after there's something called of uh, giving flowers and the, the church comes to visit you guys at home nini nini ni ceremony kadogo so i said let me testify coach congregation kadogo what maybe tuko hapa kaa ko bole maybe five more ten so ni kaimba kitu si yako unaweza imba kwa sababu juu kuimba hata niimbe yako because my mom believed i could sing so my pastor says you have something there So me as my amen but in my heart I'm saying yeah right. <laughs> so when went for service that uh, the following Sunday we were taking flowers now they said and Bobby do you want to sing I said oh, no no way. <laughs> but now there was another service so the second service because we were still doing the same because mm-hmm. I'm like, can I sing something. Mm-hmm. So I went and I sang something. Mm-hmm. Some song to by some guests. Then pastor spoke into my life and said you're going to do 
you're going to sing and God is going to lift your ministry. Of course, I said amen, but in my heart, I said, oh, yeah, right. Yeah. But somehow, we started singing mm-hmm. in, a, in a cappella group, and it grew, and every time everyone is saying, hey, you're improving, improving. I'm like, I haven't done anything extra. Mm-hmm. So it's like a way, it's like God at times waits for you to start something yes. and then gives you wings. It's like the story of the 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 talents. Exactly. The parable. Answer to mm-hmm. your story. At answer to multiply here. Mm-hmm. The Bible says goodness and mercy shall follow you. Good. How do you get followed if you're not moving? So go down and go move. Keep moving, move. So when you start moving, even if your heart is pure and you're moving the right way. At least you're moving. He's able to guide you. Goodness and mercy follows you. Na hizo wings na anza kukamu. So eventually, tukafika mali, God wanga na kuset up. Tu inakuanga divine set up. Unataka tu wanzo kakita na samara. Hey, wengi ya tu ujibambe. Wengi ya kakapela. So, nika, ikanza kuningia sana. Mm-hmm. Kuningia sana. Na unawa, sayo ngini wataka kuimba for the leisure and pleasure. Mi want to take it further. I want to go further. Mm-hmm. So you need to have any pump. And now there was no money at in music. So yeah. you're doing to minister and because I love right. it. So that helped create the passion so large that money or not, I will say the same. You know, one thing, one thing uh, I know you have witnessed, you have been and you have fought. Because you know, back then, gospel was not where it became. To yes, be. it wasn't. So you have seen the rise and the deep. Yes, of the gospel music, and it's about to rise again. And in yes, in Kenya, you see, and you're also part of that rising again. Hallelujah! For any sadaka, oh sorry, so you see, but sadaka by the way, my heart. Yes, it's quite past. Thank you, sadaka. Let me tell you, if you can't do this sadaka, lazima o make sure wapu mes mam umewa. Chuma peleka chuko mesiko. Umewongelesha. I see the, I see a vision. Tomorrow you'll have 10 million. 10 million. 10 million. You will have 10 million. What you need to do is give a thousand shillings. A thousand six. shillings. As a tomorrow six. you'll have 10 million. 10 million. I'm going to have 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 10 million. So, because yeah, you have seen it rise. Rise, fall, happen. rise again. Yeah. Because I always say this, eh? when you can do something without money, there's something you said earlier. Passion for money follows passion. passion. Yes. If you can do it without the money aspect of it, that means that's something you're truly passionate about. Because mm. there are people who do it for money. And when the money leaves, they have left. And that comes now to back to where how have you, how you have managed to stay grounded mm. in the gospel scene, in the gospel music all through. Because mm. I've seen many who have come, they have become big hits in gospel. When they started dipping, I jump out of a window. They jump to secular. Now, when the secular careers are started dipping, they are trying, they are, they are trying to levitating back, back towards gospel. the gospel. No. And uh, we can't we, we can't say we can judge so much because you know it's the same way God changed Saul to Paul can yeah. change their lives. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. sometimes uh, it's uh, it's hard to know their mm. where they stand, their heart. where they stand. You know? Yeah. But uh, also, as the Bible says, you shall know them by their fruits. Mm. So. You shall know them by their fruits. Mm, 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 mm. So you have, yeah, you have answered that. And uh, I was now the all along now. Mm. You have, I have the guiding, the inspiration of mom and the preacher. Mm. That question now bring you back. What has guided you all through to stay? Now we are moving. Bible na kupachanga sisi hizo likaji zote. Kuna kuna verse it called Psalms Psalms on one two three. Mm-hmm. Ina samanga blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, stand in the way of sinners, sit in the seat of the scornful. His delight is in the law of the Lord. On it does he meditate day and night. Then in a promise, he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers, streams of water, whose leaf does not wither and bears its fruit in its season. Sasa wata niseme in colloquial terms, in the normal language, you are the average of the five people you hang around with. The company you keep determines the kind of person you are. Wow. So that's it. That's why I'm asking you to Blessed is the man who does not, who does not, who does not. Does not. Yeah. So company. now, yes, but if you delight in God, mm-hmm. atapatia likeji, utakuta zile vitu naongia, mm-hmm. wale watu wanapenda zonezu vitu naongia, ndi wanakamu closer. Mm-hmm. Wale wapendezu hii, wanaenda mbali. Siya ni watu wabaya, 
but they are not within the cycle of what you discuss. Mm -hmm. Just like if I'm a DJ and I want to understand DJing, I need to hang around DJs, perfect my skills. So I can't even lemme that after DJ, I'm going to be. This skill, you know, if I'm not doing, I'm not doing well. Or come on, the videographers, for that matter, mm -hmm. content creators. Mm -hmm. You want to be around content creators? You want to be around content creators? Exactly. Now, my content creator is God, and the mm -hmm. content is God. So if I stick close to that, if I have any question. When I go online, at times when I put anger, have you ever noticed anything you're looking for, you find? Yes. Sindio, you can also type Jiwagon Sai. Brabus. Tomorrow's tomorrow's not a good letter. It's not a good letter. It's not a good letter. Niki type Judas Iscariot. It's not a good letter. Now I'm Bible related, Bible oriented. Why did Jesus Judas betray Jesus? Jesus. Do you know Judas means praise? It's the same as Judas. You can also put a ma. So uh, what you like? Yes. Just someone on Angamba na kujapa yeah. kwa inaita si jinsi na itangwa. You kenda kwa pale pasa chwa Instagram or TikTok. Kisha mm. angalia hivu na juu. Oh, this is the company you've been keeping. Come on, then have to be. It has to be the site you're looking at. <laughs> click. When do fungo two page? Si mi amuto kupata ingia Instagram. Click search. Mm. The first things that appear on the first page, you know what that's. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. So it's the same thing. Kaya ngo mazimu kifungo tu kwanza hivi. Camera, 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 behind the scenes. Because you know, you're not going to be IG. You're behind the scenes. I will spell scenes here. S-C-E-N-E-M-S-I-N-S. Behind the scenes here. S-C-E-N-E-S. S-C-E-N-E-S. Oh, scammers. Some are BTS. BTS. But for the English, too, because each generation says some are BTS. Apparently, there's a group in Korea called BTS. Yamziki? Yes. I think I've seen, yes. Yes, yes, and yes. nowadays, auto kick to the BTS, they come to you. I talk to me in a BTS, it's our group, and what you have posted does not relate to BTS. You call it Allah, yeah. Well, have they copyrighted it, patented? I don't know, but no, you see, ours is hashtag BTS. Hey. Has nothing to do with them, it's just behind the scenes. You can never have you can never be a sole proprietor of, of, of a name. That's why my name keeps changing. Mbufi, Dr. Mbufi, Dr. Mbufi. You narrow it down to what can describe you. How be a Dr. Mbufi, tutakuja hapo. Tafika hapo. So, tingi ya H. Eh? Heartfelt testimony. Share a heartfelt testimony. So, ladies and gentlemen, hapa tutulia, skiza, DJ, cheza ilo imbea, ting, ting, masifanya tiki tiki. Ha, ha. So I get called by this person to come to Nyeri. To come and minister to young people. Takulipia mafuta yako. Nanda kwatia kaki, kaki rusi. Tuka ro, kilikuwa chido nzo mtuka piga yo kitu na ro yangu yote. I love children and I love music. Tuka piga. Kumaliza. Tunataka kurudi. So mbuvi, one of our sponsors did not come through. So. Hey, uwe. And then after that, ujwe vile godu kutest. Immediately, amani ambe hivyo, nimesama, okay, it's okay. Of course, you're disappointed because you knew now you have some money to keep you going. But this is a person I know very well. Nika wuni ambiyo, I know enye kime, ata we kime kuramba, umejaribu, imekata. So, si intention yako, uliku wata kuni sort. Na wamje utesti wena mungu wana kuambia, by the way, kuna one of the classes, they were not able to come. Please, buvi, unaza pitia? Waimbia kidogo. Ha, sure. Penda, nikaenda, nikaimba. Kapia, nikapia, kwaza proper. Katoka. Ujua God ni mso. I'm driving back. Tu Nairobi nakale ka ka old school tu kanga na kam tu na kam tu na kam pole pole. Maja how will I survive this week? Kutenda. I get a call. This guy works for for youth fund. Kwenye tu youth fund. I don't know if it's still there. Hi youth fund there back then. Hey, so we are talking. Takuambia jina yake later ndi ujua sauti yake ni wala watu ni mjaka. So no 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 gani sauti soft. Always young guys. Nana moeshi mo alikuwa kwa mko kwa industry kabla niingi. Kama wana sema twenty four, maybe yangu wana chapa forty eight years kwa industry by now. So spoken na kona kanya kuhuja kaka gisti. Nana juu ni zani gonga. Sasa kwa paso mbovi. We want you to do a project for us. We want you to do a song. Plan ni kuchora. 
Mm-hmm. And the way you planned your life, you've not succeeded by Bati Baya. Want this song to bless, guys. Mm-hmm. In my head, I'm listening, partly listening and partly thinking. Ndianzi ya wapi historia hii uimbo? Ndio. Hata akinigonga nifike mali nataka. So in my head, I'm thinking, sit and your song you want. Mm-hmm. Siji nianzie kafinje, ndio hata akisema 30 ni kosa. Kosa. So, movie so we will give you 400,000 shillings. I'm like. Hmm? Ate, what did you say? 400,000. Huko kwa party. Minimum wa 30. <laughs> you know that thing and negotiate at 600 apart because that's how. You know I did that song. Mm-hmm. Finished it, presented it, they liked it and they never asked for it. Up to today. When I was paid my 400,000. Now, yeah. the Bible says the angels of little children mm-hmm. are always in front of the, beholding the face of the father. Mm-hmm. So what were those angels saying that day in the, fa- to the, the in the face of the father? Yeah. Father to akasema, bless this boy. Bless this boy. Honor, honor amenda dinieri. Bless. So imagine that's a testimony I can give number they all I can give quickly quickly when we did the song okay ya moko you know it's a fun song yes I can't believe there are people who got healed, who got saved because of that song. Wow. There's a testimony of somebody who got cured of AIDS because of that song. Of all the songs of Kelly Mock. Na tulifukuzwa tulifukuzwa makanisa kwa sababu ya wimbo. Eh. I remember how you looked at Kelly. Ah, you mbona ya club what are this? But that song changed the scope of music, the scope of music, gospel music in Kenya. The name ya Mungu bana. easy <laughs> <laughs> instruments that are santima zina fanya is the bebaro yako hizo muita violin gita imemoka eh ba good one cuz it's okay ina there's a time i touched one and i was you kind of feel how it comes with that it oozes the elegance the classicness yeah have you had pan pipes though pan who pan pipes pipe tungine maze watu cheza yani sijui tunakaaje tuenda zimu ama bagpipe za hawa wa scottish over a kilt ah, ile yes tule tu hata hiyo mm. na wacha hizo kucha kuchapa tule tuka kadhazi kwa hivi acha 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 yani unashikwa na muziki unashanga saa what's going on playing and i don't know how to play it i would have loved the bass guitar more ah the bass guitar watu wanaona tu kaafisha na bass guitar na niko niko hiyo category naona Na watu wangi pot kwa sababu kana yake watu hapo. Unaona hizo makoza deep na kutu hapo yeye nikamkondele. Hata imepotelea na huko. Eh unafaa kuwa hapo hivyo. Kama hivi. Bass guitar inaji kitambi naishika hiyo yeah, inalalia hapa ina kwa cushion Now tuko je bend console na ni January nyama ndio watu wajua tunaziweka kwa sababu tu fast Eh tuko je are you fasting Yes I'm meeting fast <laughs> <laughs> It's getting hot in here. Na tuko J, hata tunaanza J ndio tumetoka I. Joto. Now, J I'll do it for justice. So, how do you use your music to or have you ever used the music to talk about injustices that you see in the society yeah uh, and how how have you done it and uh, the impact that it has had 
I did a song in 2017 called Governor Kawaya. Mm-hmm. So it's scripted. This, this, it's, it's about this guy vying for governor, but he has done nothing. Mm-hmm. So the question, the song asks, "Umefanya nini? Umefanya nini wanainchi? Mm-hmm. Mm? Uongozi ti si si panganga tu. Mm-hmm. If you wanna see leaders, see them even before they they, they ask for a post. Mm-hmm. As this person at home." help build something. In fact, we, sh- we should have servant leaders, leaders, people who are being fronted to vie, yeah. and they are probably not even thinking Interested, about it. Yes. Why? Because they are lifting lives wherever they are. Yeah. See, no, there's always mm-hmm. something you're able to do where you are. Moses aliambuwa ukwadani kwa mkono rod, ifanya mamu mingi sana. So we all have we all have something we can be able to do. That's one one I did. There's one I did for for far away. Forum for Africa Women Educationalist. Yeah, it was a ch- a girl, girl child right rights kind of song. Okay. So yeah, those are some of the ones I've done. Go. Cool. Yeah. Hmm. And uh, now, you see, it's something that you mentioned. Eh? God asked Moses, "What do you have?" Hmm. And all along in your references, eh, you have basically you need for goodness and mercies to follow you. You need to be walking. Hmm. Hmm. For God to guide you, you need to be moved. Mm. For God to use you, he has to what you have. Mm. So basically, you would say that, Usikaya hapa useme ni naomba mungu. Anipatie. No, what? You have a voice. In fact, nowadays, you have the whole of YouTube. You have, mm-hmm. you can address things. Yeah. Unazanga. A lot of these people who've done things have started as a joke. True. Many of these guys who've started big careers in some of these big things. True. Mekwa kama mchezo hile. In my free time, what can I do? Yeah. Wana nifanyaka. Chin, there's a guy. Who found a lot of starfishes? Metupona ocean. Starfish. No, I think the starfish. Yes. There's not one five five sides. Mm, five stars. Eh? So, for every your ocean in Arusha, in Arusha, kwa show kwa twenty. Mm-hmm. Yana Arusha kamoja. For every twenty kamoja. Now just come back and say, what are you doing? What you're doing is zero work. It doesn't make a difference. Mm-hmm. For every twenty is nakam unajua kamoja. He said it makes a difference to that one. Nimesheka. Mm-hmm. So. Who are you making an impact? It could be one person. Yeah. Two people. There's a preacher. Mm-hmm. A lot of my stories are Kanisa. Yes, yes, yes. There's yes. a preacher yes. who used to preach in a certain place. Mm-hmm. And all his career, only one person ever got born again. Mm-hmm. So if you sum his evangelistic career mm-hmm. in terms of numbers, he's a failure. Failure! Come Failure! Failure! failure. Mm-hmm. One in all those years. Mm-hmm. That one became Billy Graham. Wow. So now, how do you measure success? Unaona? Ni noma. In the eyes of the people. Yes. He looked like a failure. Eh. Wow. But kwa in the kwa kingdom, mungu, kwa mungu. all those by proxy have come. Now ndio wale watambua na God akisema anti well done you've done a good job. Jamaa anasema ah God. Unasema ni preacher. Unasema ni preacher watu. 2020 na nilikuwa sha daily 2010. Kumbe is my implanted a seed in the person who preached in that time. <laughs>